Hi there, my name is Fluffy the Destroyer and welcome to my channel. There's a there's an article on Forbes. It says the new study finds no link between gaming and sexist attitude. Finally. But like is that good? Is that good enough to say, well, you know what? This makes a lot of sense. Because on one side you can say that the study was funded by I don't know, like a game publisher or something, or it like you, they are certain questions or I would say the study couldn't make sense for other like a lot of reasons but this one first of all it's a longitudinal uh, study longitudinal study which means observation research method in which data is gathered for the same subject repeatedly over a period of time they did this through 2011 yeah this is like this thing started in 2011 way before all that sexist and feminist bullshit started on on the internet and so that makes a lot of sense so there's a good foundation to say that this could make sense i mean may you know really depends and it's also based on the cultivation theory um the thing is you'll find out if i invite you to go to gamma sutra and uh, links in the description um it goes over the method uh, like the measures and the results what they say is people aren't sexist because of you know, video games there's no link between them and also this was researched by the european research council not a video game publisher or any anyone that has anything to do with video games and from the study here it looks like I don't know if I can find it right here. Um, you'll see the measures, the questions that were asked. Well, of course, you can go at the... Let's see here if I can find it. I don't have... Uh, oh, no, there it is. I also don't have a... I don't have an account there. But if you go at the online.laborpub.com, I'm sure I said that wrong. Uh, the study is there. But... I don't have access. What can I say? I don't. But you'll find more data over here at the Gamma Sutra if you want to. And so here's the thing. Over the period of time of like the in the last couple of months, there's been a lot of talk regarding feminism and sexism in video games. Are they really sexist? What I say is this. I play games for the game. I play Tomb Raider because I played a woman character. That I bitch about that because there's no man character in there. I could have. Would it make sense? To me, no. It, like Tomb Raider is about Lara Croft. It's a woman. Uh, I can say the same thing with other types of, of games, but I don't have one in my mind, and that's not the point. Uh... It, it really doesn't matter like to me I just play a game for having a video game you know because I want to spend time and I'm not playing a video game as an holy shit there's no woman in there or there's no man in there what the fuck is this shit now, you know I'm gonna go on the internet and bitch about it no <laughs> no but there's one thing I can say though and Total Biscuit said that in, in one of his tweets uh, a couple of days ago I always welcome diversity in game. If you allow me to play as a woman or a man with different skills, I wouldn't refuse. In fact, I would love that. That would be even better for me, or, well, not for me, but for a gamer. Only because of this reason. It's, it's an excuse for me to play the game again. Replayability factor. Just think about it. You play as a man and with a different skill sets. It could be like an action game, strategy game, or, well, yeah, no, not strategy games. But there's a lot of games out there that could be played with multiple types of characters. We don't have enough of that, personally. And then, for replayability factor, you can insert, like, other characters with other types of abilities. Or different skill sets, which, in the end, makes the gameplay very different. I would love to do that. Well, 
to to play those games but you know deadline cash budget developers publishers just wanting to well they're just thinking about greed and they want the game out like they want patch we got bigger problems honestly feminism and sexism is just way down on my list and honestly i think it's way down on the list of of publishers and developers and i personally believe that's why they're not talking a lot the press and the journalists, when I would say journalists out there are talking a lot about it compared to developers and publishers. If they do talk about it, I would love to see what they have to say. But I don't see them talk a lot about that subject. Perhaps they don't care. They just want to release the game and that's it. Anyways, just go ahead. Just uh, comment on the subject. And don't forget to rate and subscribe if you like the video. See you later.